what I do every morning besides like I'm gonna be washing my hair so a couple things that I don't do every single day but a lot of these things mainly the same so I thought I would walk you through an in-depth morning routine for me I am due to wash my hair I wash my hair twice a week I usually wash it on Saturday mornings and today is Saturday and it is 8 o'clock 807 I usually wake up around like 7.30, 7.45, um, just like a little bit later than what I usually wake up for for work. I wake up around like 6.20 for work and I get up, I come in here, I take out my retainer, I put my retainer in that cleaning fluid I can show you what I use. I've tried a lot of retainer cleaners and I really just like this one. They also all come individually packed and it's good for travel. Next on the routine is I'm gonna go into the kitchen and make all my beverages. I've been doing this for years. I've always had like beverages and supplements before my coffee. I'm not to food yet. I do wanna try like eating food. I'm not hungry at this time in the morning. So what I usually do is I do protein coffee during the work week. And I feel like that kind of helps because it's like the protein with coffee so it's like getting something else in your system without just coffee but it's going in with the coffee so i don't know if that's like helpful beneficial but that's what i do during the week also if you're interested in subscribing i'd love to have you stick around i post videos every single week i've been engaged i was about to say recently engaged but it's been almost a year which i don't know how the time goes by so quick but i'm engaged planning a wedding i'm a 2025 bride i work five days a week in an office and i vlog every single weekend i don't know what life would be like without vlogging and documenting so i'd love to have you stick around if you're interested but let's get into the rest of my morning routine Here's my coffee bar and then all my morning supplements are down here. This is like my morning station, I guess you could say. What I've recently been doing is I've been using my coffee machine for my hot water. So I had the Breville Barista Touch and this does like espresso, Americanos, lattes, like it has a milk frother. It grinds the beans, you pack it, and then it pours out from right here. And what I've been doing recently is I've been doing hot water. I used to just heat it up in the microwave, but this is actually pretty easy. So I just take hot water from here and I fill it up about halfway. And then I fill the rest of it up with cold water. So that way it is lukewarm and I can drink it right away. And then I add half a lemon. And then lastly, I'm gonna add some Celtic sea salt to it to replenish my electrolytes first thing in the morning. So just a little sprinkle. I got this off of Amazon, but I feel like you can also buy it in some grocery stores, but I can link it. Lemon is really harsh on your teeth, so I make sure to drink it with a straw. And I have these shorter glass straws they're like cocktail glass straws but i use them in my lemon water beverages my teas just to help protect my teeth so i can link these i got them off of amazon and they're like the perfect height and next we're gonna take supplements first supplement is a digestive enzyme just to help digest the supplements that i'm taking just first thing in the morning just kickstart help with digestion then i take the one up nutrition probiotic 
I take the Ritual Multivitamin as well as the Ritual Stress Relief. I don't think I'm gonna repurchase the Stress Relief. It is so expensive. It's like $54 and I'm trying out a new supplement after this, but I have been using it for almost a month and um, it has a low dosage of ashwagandha, which makes my chin break out. So I'm a little bit nervous to up the dose, but I'll share that in an upcoming vlog, which one I selected. It's just really expensive. The capsule is so cool. It's it's like three little balls in there and it's like an extended release and then ritual multivitamin which i've been taking for almost a year now i really like it okay so these are my morning supplements as of now and then i just down them with my lemon water Then I take the same glass and I fill it with cold water. Then I take my chlorophyll. I got this one from Whole Foods, but I get it from like Whole Foods, Sprouts. And I've just been taking it for so long that it's just been a part of my routine for I think like three years now. And it's mint flavored. It has a lot of detoxing properties. It is also really good for digestion. It helps with energy, just a ton of little benefits. And it's just so in my routine that I haven't stopped taking it. So I've been liking it. That's why I haven't taken it out of my routine in three years. Now let's get into the favorite part of my morning, which is coffee. And I think it's so fun to be drinking out of a fun cup. So I have tons of like fun cups. This is like my fun cup cabinet and then my cabinet. This is like my aesthetic cup cabinet. So I have like all my coffee mugs, espresso cups, regular cups, and then double insulated cups, and then some big ones, and then all of my wine glasses and shot glasses up at the top. Then over here is like all my fun cups, to-go cups, things like that. These fun summer water cups, lake water, and then back here, I have these cups that I got made for our friends trip that we went on last year to Rosemary Beach. I like saved them all and it's like a sentimental cup because we got engaged here. I just love that I made a cup for it. I feel like I'll do that. I grew up with my parents doing that. We had a lot of these cups around and they would get them made. So that's where I got the idea from. So a lot of fun cups there. And then these are my favorite recently. I got them off of Amazon. They are like just like milk carton containers. It's really hard to get ice in this cup. So what I've been doing recently is I'll just take like a plastic cup and fill it with crushed ice. And I do half crushed ice, half normal ice. I don't know why I started doing that, but I think it tastes good. I feel like if I had pellet ice, it would make such a difference and I probably wouldn't have to mix them. It would just be like the perfect balance, but I don't have that. So crushed ice, regular ice. I just recently changed to these beans from, I used to use the Alfred beans, but these are really cheap. They're like $12 and I get them every two weeks and they have really good tasting beans. So I used to use La Colombe a lot and then I switched a couple months ago and now I am back just to save some money on, on coffee. And I am officially out of beans at the top. So I'm gonna fill that up. I haven't tried this flavor yet, but we'll see if it's good. And then I pour the rest of the beans in here. And this seals it. I got it from Target. I can link this as well if you have a machine like this and it's also pretty cute so here's what i put in my coffee i've been drinking the cashew milk from elmhurst for years now it's like my favorite it gets really creamy i love the flavor and then i've also been doing this um nut pod creamer flavor for a while too and then what i've recently been doing is putting ground cinnamon in the bottom of this and then brewing the espresso over top I feel like it just like evenly distributes a little bit better. So I put like a lot of cinnamon. And then I just use these rags. I got them from Target. They came in like a pack. Before I brew the espresso, I make sure that the milk and creamer is good to go because I heard that the best way to get a good tasting espresso shot after it's been brewed 
is to have it come in contact with milk within the first 30 seconds. So I always make sure to have this done. Now let's brew. Gorgeous. Coffee is made and now I'm gonna figure out my hair. But before that, I always check my Ultra Human Ring. I got this Ultra Human Ring a couple months ago. I got it sent to me actually and I've always wanted an aura ring. This is basically like the same thing. And what I always do is I always check my, like how I slept throughout the night. So I got eight hours and 42 minutes of sleep. Time in bed was nine hours and 17 minutes. Here's what it looks like. I'm working on my heart rate dropping earlier. There's like a lot of factors that play into that, but now since it's hair wash day, my hair just looks really not good, but we're gonna fix that, we're gonna wash it. But I use this Miel Rosemary Mint Scalp and Hair Strengthening Oil. It has biotin and encourages hair growth. I'm sure you've seen this everywhere. A lot of people use this. And I'm almost out. I just ordered another container. It's so cheap. It's like $10. It lasts me forever. I think the main reason why it lasts me forever is because I don't put it all over my hair. I am mainly focusing on hair growth throughout here. I think stress actually plays like a huge factor in, well, I know that it does, it plays a huge factor in like hair loss. And I noticed around here and throughout here, it's not as thick as I would like it to be and I am trying to have like really thick looking hair for my wedding and I don't know if I'm gonna wear my hair up or down yet but this is like holding me back from wanting to wear it up so we're working on hair growth throughout there you have to be so careful with this because I feel like the oil can get everywhere and I just distribute this all throughout here and I leave it in for like an hour and then I take this scalp massager and go through it and I'll even flip my head over to just to get like the blood flow up to my scalp and like help with the circulation and massage it while um, my head is upside down. So I'm gonna do that. And then I make sure to wash this every time I put the oil in. So I put the oil in twice a week because I use this for another serum on my hair. So I just kind of like soak it in hot soapy water. Now I'm gonna brush my hair. I have like a separate brush for when I have oil in my hair. And when it's dirty okay just brushed out my hair it's really oily at the top but i'm gonna clip up my hair and i'm gonna sit on the couch if i obviously if it was a work day i would not putting oil in my hair and i'd be going and getting ready so i'm gonna sit on the couch and let this sit for an hour or like an hour and a half and then i will get in the shower and rinse it out Okay, I just got out of the shower. Clearly, I'm wearing my favorite Brooklyn and robe. It feels like a towel, but I just have this metal bowl, and this is what I do every morning. I fill it with ice and then water, and I dunk my face in it like six to ten times, and it helps with your skin, helps with inflammation, deep puffs, and it also activates your vagus nerve. It's almost like dunking your whole entire body without having to dunk your whole entire body because when you do cold plunges, it does help with like overall inflammation, but it also activates your vagus nerve, which controls your rest and digest activator, lowers cortisol, helps regulate the central nervous system. So it's really beneficial. And you also get those skincare benefits. So I'm gonna fill this with ice and then water, and then I dunk my face. Just looks like this and I let it sit for a little bit so that way the water can get cold all throughout Okay, and I hold my breath for like 10 seconds. So I do it six to ten times for 10 seconds Okay, there's absolutely no way to make a towel look cute on your head, but I just have this towel on from crown affair I'm about to use my ice roller. This is from the skinny confidential 
I just like to get like the frost off of it because I've seen horror stories online of people ripping off their skin from using this. So I just like to get like the frost off, which is what you're supposed to do. You're not supposed to like immediately take it out of the freezer and rub it on your face. And I like this. It's pretty pricey to be honest. I've had it for a couple years though, and I really like it. When I have like a little bit of extra time, I don't do this every morning, but especially on the weekends I do it. Or if I do have extra time in the morning, I will quickly roll out my face. The cold really makes my face a little bit red. See, it, it makes my face like a little bit red. Okay, so after I do the ice rolling, I'm gonna take my hair out of my towel, but first I'm gonna spray this antimicrobial bacteria spray. If you guys have tried the Tower 28, which I have never tried, it's really expensive. It's like $30 for a spray. I think this is under $10 on Amazon and it's the exact same thing. It helps kill like surface bacteria on your face. And I've been dealing with some breakouts, which is very uncommon for me. I was on Accutane and usually don't break out. And since taking like ashwagandha recently, I've been dealing with like a lot of chin acne and like just random little breakouts that I haven't had to deal with in a long time. And it's really affected just my confidence, which is sad. So since dealing with those like itty bitty breakouts, I didn't really know what it was until I put two and two together. So I recently added this to my routine when I first started noticing all those surface level breakouts. So I started incorporating this after my workouts and I also do it in the morning. Um, and like after I use like any sort of facial tool, just in case like bacteria transfers, I do wash my ice roller, but I mean, things can still happen. So I started incorporating this in, really affordable. Just notice it kind of helps with like surface level breakouts. So this is such a great option. If you want to give it a try under $10, you don't have, it's not like $30 like the Tower 28 and it's the exact same thing. So I just spray that all over my face and I let it dry because if you don't let it dry, apparently it neutralizes any product that you put on top of it. So it makes it like not work. I'm gonna take my hair out of my towel. Um, now I'm gonna take my favorite leave-in conditioner. This is by Crown Affair. I love this stuff. Sometimes I mix an oil with that, um, especially if I'm leaving my hair like wet and I'm not styling it. I will use like an oil as well just to help with dryness. My hair looks a lot drier when it's natural versus when it's not. And then I just take this Tangle Teaser brush and brush through my hair. Now that I've brushed through my hair, I'm gonna get into my skincare, but I first wanna talk about habit stacking. And this is a great way to incorporate multiple things into your routine um, without having to sacrifice time. I know we all don't have the luxury of having a lot of time in the mornings, whether you have kids, um, prior obligations. It's really hard to fit certain things into your routine. It's a luxury to have time, but habit stacking is a great way to kind of like incorporate multiple things that are good for us into a routine that we already have. So a great way to do this is what I do is throughout my skincare, I can't always carve out time to sit there and focus on gratitude and things that I'm grateful for. And I know you probably hear this all the time, how important gratitude is, praying. It is proven to help your nervous system when you focus on good things. And it is a luxury. We all have different circumstances. We all are going through different things and it is truly a luxury to have certain things in this life. Okay, I did change my battery, but what I was saying is, and I'm trying to tread lightly over this, I totally know that we do not have any control over outside situations and things that happen, but we have complete control over how we react to them, and I find that I react better when I have a calm mind <laughs> and a sense of security in myself. And for me, it's important to incorporate habits that make me feel good. And I know that focusing on gratitude and also um, affirmations, praying, just focusing on the healthy habits that make you feel good, help you carry throughout your day, 
differently and I know sometimes it's hard because of the circumstances that everyone deals with everyone is going through but focusing on little things that you have can be life-changing they have been life-changing for me so what I do instead of carving out extra time in the morning before work or whatever I do my morning affirmations, I do my gratitude throughout my skincare routine and even in my car ride to work. One thing that I'm going to focus on in my gratitude this morning is rent is coming up. It's in a couple of days and around the time that I'm filming this video it's in a couple of days and I am grateful that I work a job that provides me the income to be able to pay my rent pay my car payment, pay just bills. And that is something that I should be grateful for every day. Like I'm grateful that I have this apartment that has light. I took a hot shower this morning, which people don't all have the luxury to have. So those are just examples of certain things that I really focus on. This is such a privilege to have and to live here and to pay these bills is a privilege. And I know it hurts to pay the bills, but you work a job, you have the ability to pay the bills, and that is something that should definitely be noticed. I promise that the days that I focus more on gratitude, I carry myself throughout my day a lot differently than when I don't. So anyways, I'm gonna do my skincare. I've been doing the Skin Better Science care for a couple months now. I do the Alto Defense Serum and then I also have the Even Tone Correcting Serum as well as the Eye Serum. And I start with eyes first because that's what they recommend on their website. They have a whole page of how they advise to apply the skincare. Oh my gosh, I just forgot that about my new face and I do this every single morning and I don't know how I forgot. I think it's as of course like I'm leading you through my routine and I forget to do it, but I usually do this every morning before skincare, my new face. And of course like the day that I'm walking you through my routine, I forget to do it, but I've had this since November. I got it on Black Friday and I've done it every single day and I love it. I feel like it instantly lifts your face. I would recommend buying it like around a specific holiday just because they do like crazy sales on the new face site but this is also what i do every single morning is the new face it helps depuff. i carve out time to do that so i specifically wake up a little bit earlier to do that we all don't have the luxury of a lot of time in the morning so i realize that it can be um hard to kind of add certain things that are a little bit time consuming because this takes about 15 minutes. You can also do it at nighttime, which I will do because I forgot to do it this morning. So I'll do that tonight. Okay, before my hair air dries, I'm gonna put in my Vegamore Grow and this is the advanced hair serum to help with like hair growth throughout here. And I usually apply it at night, but since I washed my hair this morning, I'm gonna apply it after that and then go back in with my scrubber that I just washed. And this is a great serum. You can use it every day. It doesn't make your hair oily or greasy. It just makes it a little bit damp, but it dries and it dries completely normal. So this is my second bottle of this. And I've tried multiple brands and I'm trying to see if this one works. And I got the advanced version because I didn't want to just mess around with the regular, but they do have a regular version. So I've got the three pack kit just to really see if it works. It lasts like a little bit over a month, maybe like six weeks. Um, but I also don't put it everywhere on my hair or throughout my scalp. About to start cooking breakfast and this is what we usually have on the weekends. During the work week, I do something completely different. I bring yogurt bowls with fruit and granola on top, but on the weekends, I like to cook eggs. I don't have time to cook these during the week and I usually pack my breakfast and bring it with me to the office. So yogurt bowls are what I usually eat throughout the week because it's easy to just bring to and from the office and it doesn't need to be heated up. Grab and go quick. Breakfast it takes me like three minutes to put it together in the morning. But on the weekends, I like to do eggs. So we do these eggs or we get our eggs from Costco, but this is what we have currently. Sourdough English muffins. If you have not tried sourdough English muffins, these are incredible. If you have a Publix near you, I'm not sure what other grocery stores offer this, but these are from Publix in the Publix bakery section. 
so good they are frozen i usually buy them on sundays when i do my grocery shopping and then i just stick them in the freezer so they stay good and then i thaw them in the microwave for a little bit and then put them in the toaster these are incredible so we usually have the sourdough english muffins and then bacon i have tried turkey bacon i'm just not a fan this bacon is our personal favorite it's oscar meyer center cut original it's not the thick cut and we love this stuff so this is what we eat typically for breakfast or we'll do hash browns with avocado avocado toast things like that but this is definitely one of our favorites so i'm going to put this on a baking sheet okay and we cook it at 400 degrees for like 18 minutes we like it crispy we also just like cooking it in the oven versus cooking it on a pan Passion fruit or something. That wasn't much of it, was it? Okay, let's finish off this morning routine. I just finished doing my hair. I haven't brushed out my curls yet. I just let them sit while I'm doing my makeup. Um, I'm gonna put on my moisturizer. I'm using the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. I'm almost out of this. And that's what I use for my moisturizer. I forgot to put this on before I did my hair. My eyebrows and I do hair gel on them. And it's the only thing that holds my eyebrows in place. I have like curly eyebrows. Just use this and I brush up. And I also feel like it like lifts up my face when my eyebrows are done. Now I put on sunscreen. I use the Elta MD UV Clear. And after that, I go in with my makeup and that's basically it for my morning routine. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and end off this morning routine video here and start up a new weekend vlog. I have a nail appointment in a couple of hours and I think I'm doing something with some friends tonight and Christian. We're going to get dinner or we're going to cook dinner. So I want to start up a new vlog, but I hope you maybe picked up some things that you want to incorporate into your routine. Definitely drop some things in your routine that have changed your life in a positive way and we can all go through them, read some and pick and choose what we maybe want to incorporate into our morning routines. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Make sure you're subscribed, give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.